This will be another Kanye West tutorial. It will be called Never Let Me Down. This is what I'm basing it, basing this piano version on. It's a very nice song, Never Let Me Down. It's in the key of uh, E minor. It's in the key of E minor. Uh, it's going to be three chords that are going to be used over again. So let me get started with the bass line. It's going to be pretty driving. So let's begin with the bass line. Shift the camera down. So, left hand, uh, it's going to be E minor chord. Ah, okay. It's going to be E. E minor, E, B, E. Second chord, uh, C major. Once. And next is a D minor, or D major. And then a walk up. C, D, and E. So again, pretty slow. And I believe you play that eight times or so. I may be wrong, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's how many times you play that section. So, uh, again. And so on and so forth. I don't want to play it all eight times because it'll get a little weird without the right hand. So, to make it sound more familiar, I think he did use uh, some type of strings. But that's that's not the big deal right now. So, let's switch it to strings. I'll play the same chord up here so you get a better sound for it. so forth. Uh, okay, so that was just showing you the left hand. I was showing the left hand up here. So, now we're going to go back to the regular piano. So now I'm going to add in the right hand. Slow. chord is just going to play for, like I said, uh, at least six or seven times more, depending on the version that you hear, because some people may mix it up, his version, but it's just going to be in the right hand. You can switch it up any way you want to make it sound different. It's going to be uh, uh, just a, a version of the different chords I spoke about. So you're going to have, you know, your, your uh, E minor inverted, then your uh, D major inverted. So again, that's not the one. So again, uh, G, B, E, G, B, E. Second chord, uh, G, C, E. Final chord, F sharp, A, D. So you're always hitting that, that D minor, D major chord at least twice on. So again. Oh. 
So you can end the song really on a, a E minor, which is what it probably is supposed to sound like. So when you add in both hands, it sounds rather nice. Okay. So I'll play it slow. That's just the gist of it, and when you add on uh, uh, the, I think it's Picasso strings he's using. Let me use my synth, my keyboard. So I'm just using regular uh, synth strings on my keyboard. it for the string section uh, it's a pretty basic song uh, the pitch I also need to mention this the pitch is slightly different in this song it's actually higher so since my keyboard is tuned well it's always tuned but since it's pitched correctly at a regular pitch it's not going to sound uh, in tune but it's still the same notes it's just going to be a pitch lower or this is an actual you know concert pitch so uh, it's going to be a little off because uh, Kanye speeds it up so it's going to give it a weird pitch but it's as it should be so with the strings it sounded more familiar uh, like I said just remember it's going to be E C D twice then a walk up to C D and E and if you're not comfortable feeling playing chords yet, you can just play the, the lead note or the root note, which is fine. So also, to make it sound more smooth, you can uh, arpeggiate the chords on both hands to have uh, a nice counterpoint, nice balance to it. Make it a truly piano version of this song instead of uh, trying to duplicate the record. Make it your own. So that is it for Kanye West Never Let You Down and there will probably be more coming from uh, the, uh, the hip hop piano side soon enough. So enjoy this, enjoy the rest of your summer, and thank you for watching. Bye.